Ah, let's turn on the upper camera. Do you want me to? Oh, okay. Yeah, can you reach it? Hey, Siri. Timer, 10 minutes. Okay, her timer is set for 10 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm tiny. <laughs> okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Um, I did the deconstructed version. <laughs> I did the floating island version. So before anything else, hi everyone, I'm Nadia. I'm Rob. Welcome to our channel. Okay. And um, we did, we made pavlovas. little individual ones and we did it using Swiss meringue for this episode. The last one we did was the French meringue. We made little lemon cookies. These things are so beautiful. Wow. Don't dump them on the floor. <laughs> They're just so pretty. And the reason we did Swiss meringue, because you can do this using French meringue as well. The benefit of a Swiss meringue is that because you're gently heating the sugar into the egg whites, um, you're actually incorporating it in a better way. I don't know how else, that's my chefy talk. I don't know how else to say it. And what you're doing is creating more of a stable structure. And in which case, say if you wanna make pavlovas or even cookies in the heat of the summer, the humidity does affect the cooking and the stability of the actual meringue to be made into whichever form, even after it's baked. So with the Swiss meringue, it's a lot more stable. You're not going to see the meringue collapse as you're using it. And the pavlova itself will be able to withstand the humidity level and won't deflate. And the other reason is just to confuse everybody <laughs> like us. <laughs> I mean, all the science behind it does, you know, yeah. give it merit. So the Swiss out of the three, which are the French, Swiss and Italian, the Swiss would be in the happy middle in terms of stability. So you have the French meringue, which is the easiest to make, the Swiss meringue for in terms of medium stability. And then the next one we're gonna do is the Italian meringue, which is the stable out of all three and tends to be also the denser of the three. Which so you can, can build used. your house out of Italian meringue. You literally can. <laughs> <laughs> what did we want to talk about the pavlova? The origins of the pavlova. Ah, disputed, like Very all much. foods. Just like the meringue. Pavlova is named after who? Oh, what was her name? Dancer? Ballet dancer from the early 20th century. From the 20s. Uh, Anna Pavlova. Anna, right. Anna, Pavlova. Anna Pavlova, very famous ballet, ballet dancer. And she was on tour to visit both Australia and New Zealand. And the dispute is between the two countries in terms of who, who came made up. made this for the first time. For the first time for the but ballet it was, dancer. But it was definitely a commemoration dessert for Anna Pavlova's tour. So that much we know. Mm -hmm. The rest... The rest is all still being disputed. Either way, let's taste. Let's taste. I've been, I've been sitting waiting for this. <laughs> so we did a blood orange curd. Oh, this is uh, tricky. Can we ship the one with
very tasty. Salt. Yep. Cream of tartar. And vanilla extract. Once that's done, let's take the butane burner out of the way. Really big. 
she said to let it boil, um, simmer, and then stop. Did it get to a simmer? It curdled, so I took it off. So we had to perform a little SOS. The eggs had curdled pretty badly, but the juice itself was still pretty good. So we took it to our main stove. Better uh, heat control. Better heat control. And we added an extra egg yolk, tempered it first, then added it to the main mixture. And now we're happy to report it thickened much better. Clear wipe on the spoon. We're gonna stir it for another minute. And then as it cools, it'll continue to thicken. So this is thickening up really nicely. You can even see that you can leave little streak marks. This is day two. Time to so we'll leave that one out. Try the multicolor. This one? Yeah. And it's also slightly smaller slices that might be easier to work with. Yeah. How are you going to peel it? Like Do you that? want to use a paring knife? It might be easier. Paring knife or this? Paring. Think so? Get better? Yep. So this is what I was thinking before these oranges. So I'll be doing this plating. And I'll be plating on this plate. Just to show there's not only just one way of plating. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's more than one plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go for it. Do you want to start with it? I think I'm going to put the curd down first. Yeah, curd turned out. It was a good save. a blood orange curd. Oh, this is uh, tricky. What do you think? Um, it's very, very good. <laughs> mm. Mm. So blood orange curd, pavlova, I've shaved some chocolate on it, raspberries, um, uh, blood orange supremes. Mm. 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 Oh wow, crunchy and chewy. I don't know if people. I hope people can hear the crunch. Mm. It's like a marshmallow on the inside. Mm. The curd is not our recipe, mm. and we had to perform an SOS. <laughs> <laughs> I had to rescue the curd a little bit just to yeah. thicken it up. Just it didn't feel like it was thickening enough. So what we did is we reheated it on the stove and then added an extra egg yolk in to give it a little more body. You temper the egg yolk so that it doesn't cook as soon as you put it in there. Which means you put the egg yolk in the bowl, then add the warm curd to the egg yolk, stir it up so it doesn't, so the egg doesn't cook when it hits the warm curd. Mm -hmm. Then you can mix it in. Oh, now, this is delicious. What do you think of the curd itself? Um, I'm too wrapped up in the pavlova. <laughs> The little oranges and the pomegranates gives it a nice tart mm -hmm. kick, which I think it really needs. 
This is not traditional by any means. Traditional pavlova is also a summer pavlova where they put whipped cream on top. They first make it into a cake shape, put whipped cream on top, and then uh, kiwis and other berries. We went in our own direction as per usual. The curd, it's funny, it doesn't taste as sweet as we thought it was. Mm -hmm. Like when we taste the curd just cooked, it seemed really, really sweet. But as it's sort of solidified, there's a little bit more of the blood orange flavor. I would actually still put less sugar. I'd still put less sugar, yeah. Mm -hmm. With the blood orange and the um, pomegranates and raspberries, it's really delicious. Yeah, it really cuts through all the... Um, I don't even think we're making eye contact with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. We're, we're ignoring you. It really cuts through all of the other sweetness level on there. So for me, I'm happy with the pavlova recipe. That's pretty awesome. And I actually did cut down on, on the sugar in the pavlova recipe. I had a trouble with the cooking time. I ended up ultimately cooking it for two hours because one hour wasn't enough for these guys. I think that helped. Definitely. Yeah. Because it's really got a nice crunch on the outside. Mm -hmm. Still gooey on the inside. Still gooey. Yeah, I think I like a pavlova. <clears throat> and I think I like your tear technique. The only problem with the tear, it stuck everywhere yeah, in my it's fingers. Pretty sticky stuff on the inside, Which as you can see. Probably not a bad thing. The inside thing. is pretty marshmallowy, but yeah. it's so tasty. Yeah. I'm a sucker for meringue. We had an interesting time making this dessert. We had what? Mm. We had an egg white spill. <laughs> we had something else happen on set too. Oh, yeah, the curd SOS. In the end, it all worked. It really worked out. It was worth it. So this proves that if it doesn't work out, come up with a plan B. Don't be shy. <laughs> Nothing's perfect. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just, oh, you're just going to keep eating in front of them. <laughs> That's really unfair. <laughs> Sorry. That's so rude of me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll finish it later. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. We hope you do try these out. The curd, I'll leave the link to the curd recipe below because, it, because it's not ours, but play around with it. If someone else had a more successful time with the curd, please leave it in the comments Let down below. Know. Yeah, we'd be really interested. But the blood orange curd is really, really tasty. I like Very that. Very tasty. Beautiful color. Yes. Um, <clears throat> for some reason, blood oranges are in season right now in Toronto, which is bizarre. So we jumped on the chance. You can either have a whole pavlova or you can have a deconstructed. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> the point of the game is to play. Absolutely. And have fun and don't be constrained. That's the point of our all. Yeah. <laughs> so what do they need to do? Subscribe. Please subscribe. Like. Please like. And hit the button. No, hit the bell so you get notifications when we release new videos. Yeah. Thank you. The and next enjoy. video, the next one is going to be the Italian meringue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had to think about that. <laughs> I did because I know what we need to make and it's making me nervous because we tried making it and it failed, which is the tart. Right. We'll make it. We'll make it. We'll get there. Thanks, guys. See Enjoy. you in the next one. Have fun. Bye. We're Bye. gonna we're gonna keep eating. <laughs> yeah, this is way too good to pass up. I want this big chunk right here. <laughs>